Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's Wooden Things and Stuff. Welcome to me finishing my last Christmas gift in January. <laughs> uh, I got one more Christmas gift to make and it's, uh, I'm going to make a picture frame for a friend of mine. She's been taking uh, photos on her excursions out into the woods and things. Uh, for quite some time and everybody in our group has been trying to convince her to like, you know, print these out. These are good photos. You should be printing these and putting them up or selling them or something. Like, she's a really good photographer, but she's always like, oh, they're not that good and whatever, you know, people do their confidence and whatever. So I decided that I would print out one of her photos and ha I would have it printed and uh, make a frame for her to show her that, uh, you know, these things deserve to be up on the wall. So, it's January. She's going to get her gift by the end of January. <laughs> I'm going to try making my first picture frame today. So, come along. We'll see how this works. I'm going to grab, I think I'm going to do walnut and uh, red oak picture frame, I think. We'll see. Let's go. Okay, so as always, we got to start by finding some wood. I went and looked for some walnut and some oak strips to put into that walnut that was long enough and wide enough that I could get all the pieces out of two pieces. You'll see in a second. So we rip it up into the strips that I'm going to need to glue up to make the frame and uh, mark them so that they, the grain matches when I put them back together. And then I can insert the oak strips. It's that quarter inch hobby oak stuff I get from the uh, big box store to do splines and uh, put it in the middle of the walnut. Ta-da! Glue it together into a sandwich and then I can uh, scrape off the glue when it's almost set up but not quite because that's when you want to get rid of glue and then I can take it out of clamps, take it over to the jointer and run it over the jointer a couple of times to get a flat side if you see the uh, the oak is is protruding from the walnut, that's hopefully to uh, pick up the snipe from the planer, because uh, that stuff's cheap and disposable, kind of, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. And then I can cut the ends off and uh, get to work on mitering and uh, rabbiting and that kind of stuff, which is what's next. Here we go. We gotta cut the uh, the rabbit out of the. Is it a rabbit when it's on the edge? It's a dado if it's in the middle. Yeah, it's a rabbit, I guess. Uh, around the edge of the strips that I'm making the thing with. And I take it over to my picture frame sled thing that I made. It's uh, based off the David Picciuto sled from Make Something. I'll put a link somewhere for that. Um, it's just kind of a cheap, quick version of that thing that got me through this project. Uh, I make two sides for the 8 inch sides of the 8x10 and then I was making the 12 inch sides and found out that I did not have enough wood. It would have been fine. <laughs> it would have been fine if I would have taken one of the strips and made an 8 inch side and a 12 inch side but because I made two 8 inch sides out of the first strip I didn't have enough <laughs> wood to uh, make the two 10 inch sides uh, right so what now uh, off to the big box store is what now and get myself a glass cutter and I decide to make an 8x8 frame instead because I didn't think I was going to be able to get a new piece of walnut and make it exactly the same dimensions with the walnut or with the uh, oak strip and everything in it so I just I'll just cut the glass and make an 8x8. She likes Instagram, right? <laughs> she puts her pictures on Instagram. She'll just, she'll like it because it'll be like an Instagram picture frame. <laughs> anyway, then they glue it all up with a strap clamp and some squidgy clamps. Uh, and essentially got ourselves a frame at this point, but uh, sand it all down. This is just initial sanding. Um, get it all, all the corners flushed up and ready to go. And then I can start on the splines that are going to reinforce the corner. And as you can see, I, uh, my spline jig <laughs> had some screws in the way. I couldn't, I can't do splines that big with the 
jig in that configuration, so I had to take it apart a little bit, and uh, then I had to get rid of the rest of that screw that I cut in half with my table saw blade, um, <laughs> and file it down, so it wasn't going to scratch my uh, frame, and then I could get back to splining. Yay! <laughs> this whole project, man, was kind of kind of like that. That's kind of how it went, and uh, that same oak hobby wood stuff was what I was using for the splines so just kind of nudge the fence over and flip the uh, flip the frame around so it's you cut from one side you flip it around cut from the other side so that it's centered and then uh, yeah just like that and then just nudge the fence over until the wood you want to put in there fits in there and then you got yourself your spline channel um, that's pretty much all there is to it and once it is the right size, we can take it out and check again. Yep, it's gonna fit, I think, right? Does that one fit? It's close enough, I think. Uh, yeah, probably. And then we do all four. Uh, flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it, and get it all set for splining. And then we can take the, uh, the piece of oak, put it in the actual spline, channel we'll call it uh, get it seated and mark it out cut those a little bit oversized over on the bandsaw the triangles so that when we glue them in we can then flush them up with the rest of the frame later and there we go we're gluing glue 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 I'm so fast at gluing look at me go and just pound them in and then we clamp those with some little calls so I don't have to leave divots with my C clamps. And there we go. Hey, frame! And then we take back over to the bandsaw, cut off the extra spline bits, and we can move to filling the little gaps because I still don't have a flat tooth grind uh, table saw blade, so it leaves little little pointies at the at the edges of the uh, spline channels, right? So I'm just making a little sawdust uh, putty with the extra oak and then I can just fill the little little gaps at the corners. They're hard to notice um, but they're better if they're filled with something than if they're just holes. Then we can uh, do a final sanding on everything and we can get to work on the glass. Oh, the glass. Here we go. I hope you're ready for the glass section of this video because it is something else. I have a bunch of 8x10 frames that I got at like an auction or garage sale or something. So I checked, took one out and it was actually like frosted or something. So I went and got another one, took it out of the frame, cleaned it all up, and this one's going to work, right? Okay, so then I cut it to fit the now 8x8 inside diameter of, is it a diameter if it's square? You, you know what I mean, the 8x8 section of the thing. Use my glass cutter to cut it, and snap. Oh, that one didn't work. It didn't snap clean on my line. So we'll go get another one. And actually, this one's the third of the ones that I, you can actually see the other two sitting over at the top there. And the third one, I thought, I thought the third one was gonna be good. Broke clean, check this out, boom. That's me being surprised. <laughs> and I was like, yay! Okay, so, I finally got one that's gonna work. So I, uh, you know, sand the edge that I just broke so that it's not sharp. And, uh, then I can put it in the frame. And I went and got a piece of, uh, foam <laughs> poster board type stuff to cut a backing. <laughs> He's cheering for himself. Look at that idiot. Just wait, buddy, you don't know yet that this isn't gonna work. This foam stuff um, that I got, and I cut out a back panel that I was going to use, only to find out later that it was actually too thick. Oh, this is the good stuff right here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that come to life when you put the finish on there. At this point, I think that I'm actually getting close to being done. Silly me. Need nice little hand sanding with like 800 grit sandpaper to smooth it all out. And, uh, then we can grab the photo that I'm putting in there, and now that it's it needs to be an 8x8, I gotta figure out where I wanna cut it. 
So I cut it down to 8x8 eight eight so it'll fit into my frame. And then I can clean the glass one more time. Oh, I'm just about done. I'm just about done and I'm pretty stoked about it. Uh, but just wait. <laughs> then it turns out that that foam stuff, like I said, was too thick for the rabbit that I cut. So I just went and got a piece of cardboard cut that instead. And then I used uh, glazier points, glazier points they're called. I got the idea from uh, Bob at I Like to Make Stuff. Um, but then, after I got them in, I had to take them back out because, check this out, after I get these out, I pull the uh, back off and somehow while I was putting those in, I managed to break the glass that was my third try already at cutting glass. So back to get another one of these frames and cut a new piece of glass. Um, so this is number four and it broke almost clean so I tried to clean up the little bits that didn't quite break and that didn't work. Now we're on to five. Five, same thing, didn't break clean so I tried to just knock the little extra little bits off and no. Okay, so six, are we on six at this point? I think we're on six and I'm mad. Maybe this is seven, I don't remember. And uh, I tried doing it this way, just put it over something and just lean on it and it snapped off clean. Oh, there's me being surprised again. <laughs> that I find, oh, you can actually see my beer up in the top there. I was, yeah, I needed a beer at this point because I think this was seven. This was the seventh piece of glass, but I finally got it broke clean and reinstalled into the frame and the back put on and the glazier points put in and I could put the hanging little alligator clip. Is that what they're called? No, it's not an alligator clip. So this thing. And if you'll notice, I put that on upside down also. So I had to fix that. <laughs> uh, but that's the frame. So. <laughs> Seven pieces of glass later, I've got an eight by eight picture frame for my friend who takes pictures. It, you know, it came out pretty cool. I gotta say, <laughs> that thing came out pretty cool. But I probably will never cut another piece of glass. Um, so congratulations, Jackie, you get my one and only picture frame. <laughs> Whew. Anyway, thanks for watching. Picture frame. <laughs> now I have to dispose of a whole whack of glass and picture frames. So we'll see you next time after I'm done clearing my shop out of broken glass and dead picture frames. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Woo!